you having a great day so in today's video i'm gonna be checking out viral tiktok beauty hacks to see if it really works or it's just a uh, nonsense you know so i think without any further ado let's do this so we're gonna start from this viral hack first so basically it's a beauty hack to keep your foundation on for longer to set it longer and therefore keep it matte which is extremely useful for me because I have if you follow me you probably already know this super early skin so let's do this all right so I just watch the video so first it says to start from a moisturizer I do moisturize my skin prior applying makeup anyways so it says after the moisturizing to set it all with a setting powder which sounds a bit bizarre but you know. this might go really bad like really wrong I never tried this before so. So it says after the setting powder to go with a setting spray. Let's do it. Using next matte finish spray. I'm kind of scared to do that because I, I feel like it's gonna go very bad, but okay. I want to really, really dry this in case it's gonna go wrong. I mean, I'm gonna try all these tricks in one go so this all might go really really bad I especially selected the different areas for those makeup tricks so. <laughs> so next thing it says to use a face primer and then go with a foundation um, so okay. for a face primer I'm gonna go with my current favorite revolution conceal and fix primer love 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 this thing just hope it's gonna work like I have powder on and setting spray and I'm going with that <laughs> next thing it says to do is to apply the foundation so I'm gonna go with next skin stop one stop in a color natural Guys, if this works, like honestly, so far I can't complain. Guys, this hack might actually work. All right, so far my face actually looks pretty good so I think this hack is working I mean my skin looks super matte like super matte so this might be the oily skin hack okay so I'm gonna do the usual contour cream contour set it all and we're gonna see how my face look and we can carry on with the rest of the hacks let me see in a sec all right so the next hack is the eyeliner hack it says to use the card to apply the eyeliner. I took the smallest card I could find. This one is Tesco Club card, so just ignore that. Basically, to use as a stencil for the eyeliner. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. I have hooded eyes well, so it's a bit different, like the way the line will go for me, but it's a TikTok hack. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna use a NYX Epic Ink liner for that. Okay, so just gonna put the card on the side, like it says. Let's see. I never did this before, by the way. I never ever use this thing. So. I don't know. What do I think? Okay, so let's just. I feel like it's more messier like this. So far, this hack is completely failing for me. Better to use the sticky tape. 
Fill it tape, duct tape, whatever you prefer to call it. This is not. I'm telling you, at the end, this makeup might look ridiculous. <laughs> oh man. This is not how I would do my eyeliner, trust me. I would never go with that kind of line. I think it's just bad in every possible way, but hey, <laughs> take the hacks. <laughs> Alright, so this eyeliner hack I don't think is good for the hooded eyes because both my eyes has completely different hoods, like it creases completely differently. So, yeah, the stencil definitely doesn't work. I just have some foundation on my hand and a tiny data brush and just. Lighting this up because the eyeliner hack. Nope. The foundation hack worked. To help out to balance this eyeliner, I'm gonna go with the eyeshadows and I'm gonna use with that Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions for that. I'm going kinda like a transition color, slightly bit higher than my crease is, just to give some definition to my eyes, some eyes and some hooded. Taking the darker color for the outer corners. I'm gonna take this light color and go in eye corner and move it. Okay, I think this is so much better. But yeah, eyeliner hack. Alright, next hack is rather bizarre. It's the eyelash curling hack with hair dryer yep you heard it okay let's do it i guess first of all i'm gonna apply the mascara to begin with going with nyx warp the hack one okay let's ignore a touch at the eyelid so the lashes apparently needs to be wet for this so what it says is to blow the lash with cold setting, obviously. So we shall <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I'd rather just use the lash curler. I mean, it's way easier and faster, and you don't need the hair dryer. But it did certainly work. Like my lashes definitely look lifted. Can I see it? Definitely looks like yeah, it worked. All right, so this another hack. I actually kind of like it. I think it's really smart idea so basically what it is is if you mess up your mascara and you touch your in eye corner by accident instead of scrapping it off you can have this part it's pretty cool what do you guys think i think we should do this right okay coming back to the same mascara and like it all and like it Messy. Looks quite good. I kind of like it already. <laughs> and then the girl just applies different type of glitter. So I'm gonna go with the Revolution Eye Glisten Foil and Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow in the color you're truly gonna go straight away for glitter. Maybe you should wait for the mascara to dry a bit. Otherwise, it's just. Lottie Eye Foil Metallic Eyeshadow Topper and Color Fire. Alright, 
and maybe some gold closer to it. I poured it because I don't know. I'm enjoying this part too much. Okay, so gold is Galicia Gold's by NYX. Right, you guys, I really love his hack. What do you think? It's more like a piece of art, you know? Yeah, great hack. Definitely gonna be using this in the future. If you see me with crazy inner eye glitter, I mean, I mess up with my mascara. Okay, let's do another hack. So, now this hack is rather exciting as I never did anything like this, and it's a fox freckle hack. So, basically, what the girl shows to do is to use that setting spray and the bronzer to mix up together and then splash it on the face. This might go wrong. I never tried this before, but do you know what? Let's do this. Should do this, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This takes a bronzer. This one is Contour and Glow Palette by Makeup Revolution, my current favorite. But basically, she scraps a bit into the setting spray. Let's do this. I'm trying to find the I can use for these tweezers. So I scrapped a bit. It's in here. I'm gonna dip a brush. Okay, so we shall see if this works, if it's nonsense. Oh wow, the airships are everything. Okay, that'll be good. <laughs> okay. Oh! So it definitely works. I uh, have full face of false freckles, which I never did before. Very, very first time trying this. But hey, it works, so all good. All right, so the next hack is how to fake a bigger lips. I've kind of been using similar technique, not exactly the same one as the girl showing in here, but very similar. So I think that's gonna work, so let's do this. I'm gonna use actually the Primark lip kit for that. So I'm gonna start from a lip liner as she shows to overline cupid bow. I actually contour my lips. If you want, I can do a proper video. This is not how I would overline my lips, but you know, TikTok hacks. Alright, so she's overlining cupid's bow first and then meeting the natural lip line. And then she's overlining the bottom of the lower lip and then meeting a natural line. Alright, I knew it was gonna work, like instantly my lips already look bigger. I knew it was gonna work because I used very similar technique but with actual contour, like a contour and not with a lipstick. So even with no product on, it looks Okay. Then she goes with a matte lippy, which we have in this kit. And then she goes with a gloss. So I have a lip liqueur in the same set from Primer, Yes Beauty. lips is actually a little bigger. It's not the technique that I would personally use. As I said, I prefer to contour my lips and then maybe outline a bit, but not really because it's already contoured to look bigger. So yeah, it's not the technique I would go for, but hey, it works. So thumbs up for that. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't thought it gonna go as well, but overall it turned out to be pretty good. I mean, my skin looks good with that first foundation hack. I think I might use it more to like properly do it and see how I'm gonna sit throughout the day. But so far, my skin looks super mad. 
I mean, I did use all the products, being fair enough, you know, but it's good for oily skin, but I mean, otherwise, it looks super matte, so hopefully it's gonna stay like this, because even after applying, and while applying, it just was like mega matte. The eyeliner hack, now it's tricky, you know, because <laughs> my eyes are so super hooded, this stencil just doesn't work for me, but if you don't have hooded eyes or your hood is in the middle, not on the outer corner, then that should work for you because as you see, I need that to fix. Then the mascara curl, the lash curl with a hair dryer, that was a surprising thing. I mean, a bit too extreme, I wouldn't do that again, but it works, so. Then this mascara hack, if you mess up, just go with a piece of art. Love this, I think this is absolutely amazing. The freckles, tried for the very first time, obsessed. And the lip, overlining lip, make it look bigger, it works. I mean, not the way I would do my lips normally, but hey, it works, so thumbs up. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If so, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Leave a comment down below, let me know which hack you like the best. Maybe you tried any of these already and what you like to see next up on my channel. So thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day, you guys. Bye.